So today we are taking a look at an external hard drive for your Time Machine backup or it can be used as an external hard drive for Mac, Windows, PC, or iPad, uh, any devices. This is the 5 terabyte version. It comes in all aluminum enclosure in space gray color with USB-C. Lacey is one of the brand I really trust. I had many of their hard drives in the past and uh, Touchwood, they've been really good so far. The hard drive also come with a three year data recovery plan as well. Inside the box, we have the hard drive and a USB-C to USB-C cable. Unfortunately, there is no adapter for USB-A. The included cable seems to be very good quality and the connection is very secure. Personally, I prefer a USB-C to USB-C cable, but I think they could have included an adapter. For a portable hard drive, I think it's quite thick. I have another lazy hard drive. Uh, this is a two terabyte version. And next to that is the SanDisk SSD. So you can see the size difference clearly. If you are a Mac user, you probably already know there is no option to back up your computer to iCloud. So you have no other option than using an external hard drive. And that's the main reason I got this hard drive for. The hard drive has decent speed to use as a time engine backup drive. I didn't want to use an SSD because it doesn't add any value and it's expensive. Once you connect the hard drive, it will take a few seconds for it to initialize and you will see it on the desktop usually. From that point, you just need to go to the settings or use the spotlight to find the time machine and click on the option to add as a backup disk. And you get an option to enable the encryption and set up a password. I set up a strong password and saved it on passwords app. I strongly recommend to set up encryption and set a password. If not, the data can be easily extracted from the hard drive if someone get hold of it. The next step is to erase the disk to use it as a time machine backup drive. So once you click on erase, it will take few seconds to set all up and the time machine will start backing up. The first backup will take quite a lot of time, but all the increment backups will be much faster. So you should use the entire disk as a time machine backup, even if your internal SSD is smaller. I'll put a link in the description below explaining why you should use the full drive. Apple recommend having twice the size of an internal drive for a backup disk. I don't think it's necessary to have twice the space as an internal SSD. In my case, my internal SSD is 4 terabyte, so I have an extra 1 terabyte capacity, which I think it should be sufficient. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. I hope you find it useful. Please like and subscribe for more videos.